Are you ready to save time while improving tool life, surface finish, and cycle times? Hi, I'm Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook. Let's dive in and I'll show you how GWizard Calculator can do all of that for you. Getting results quickly and easy with GWizard starts with fast setup. You download the software, log in, and answer five easy questions in order to help GWizard understand what your CNC machine can do. All you need is your max spindle RPM, your min RPM, your spindle power, your max feed rate, and you're going to give the whole thing a name and save it to create a machine profile. We've even got a whole bunch of predefined machine profiles for popular machines available here. Once you've got your machine all set up, it's time for some feeds and speeds. To get great feeds and speeds, you simply work left to right, top to bottom. So, for example, you're going to choose your material. And we have literally got over a thousand different materials here. There are metals, plastics, composites, uh, a couple of hundred different species of wood, including all of your natural soft and hard woods together with plywoods, MDF, and that sort of thing. There's even graphite in order for you to be able to work with EDM work and that sort of thing. Okay, next you want to choose your tool. And we have the most comprehensive selection of tools available in any feeds and speeds calculator anywhere. So. Let's just take an end mill, let's make it a carbide end mill, three flutes, save that information, and let's get set up for a cut. We've now got our material, our tool. Um, our last step is we need to enter a cut depth and a cut width, and based on all of that, GWizard comes back to you within the limits of your machine with your RPMs and your feed rate for your cut. There's even information on how to enter the cut based on whether you want to plunge, helix in or ramp in, it will tell you what feed rate to use for that as well. You can fine tune all of this with the tortoise hair slider. If you go full tortoise, that's absolutely the best surface finish that you can get and the most conservative you can run that cutter without running it too slowly, rubbing it and then burning it. If you go to full hair, that's your most aggressive roughing strategy for maximum material removal rate. That's all fine. Getting the best feeds and speeds in the business is great, but it's just the beginning of what GWizard can do for you. Take the cut depth and cut width. We kind of glossed over that. How do you go about figuring your cut depth and cut width? Most CNCers rely on rules of thumb or values that have worked in the past, but that could be a long way from what's best. GWizard will help you optimize and find the best values. For example, everyone dreads deep pockets with tight corners. You just know they're going to be problematic because you're hanging a small diameter cutter out a long ways to get down into the pocket. Let's go ahead and see what happens. I'll change our tool diameter to an eighth of an inch in order to handle a deep cut. And we're going to stay at a depth of one inch. And immediately we can see there's a red warning around your tool deflection. And I don't know how closely you watch your tool deflection, but it's, it's, it's really a silent killer of many tools. That much deflection probably snapped that cutter right away. Uh, but even relatively small amounts of deflection, if you don't stay on top of it, can really reduce your tool life. G-Wizard also gives you a whole set of tips ranging from whether you use conventional or climb milling, uh, you need to have some kind of lubricant for aluminum, your RPMs are maxed out, that's fine for tool life. It's not the best for productivity if you have access to a faster machine. But the big deal here is it's telling us we have too much axial engagement. Now that is because we're cutting too deep and G-Wizard wants us to reduce our cut depth to get rid of all that deflection. Well, we can do that just with one click. I'll click on the label here and we get a quick calculation. We find that we can do this cut, but we've got to go down in 15,000 steps. Now we see why everybody hates these deep pockets with the tight, tight corners. <laughs> no fun at all to do that many passes. Here's the thing. We can do even better using CAD CAM wizards. 
What CAD CAM wizards do is they have operations just like in your CAM software, so it thinks more like CAM. You enter relatively few values, in this case, just the depth of cut and the minimum corner radius, and it will give you back a complete cut recipe for what you can do here with that cut. And in this case, uh, we're going to take a little deeper cut for uh, uh, fewer passes, and we're going to spread the tool wear along the full flute length, uh, and we're going to take a much less cut width. Right? And we're going to rely on chip thinning to help us speed things up and get the best productivity. Now note, we've even got a little tip down here telling us keep your corner radius greater than one sixth of pocket depth for best tool rigidity. CAD CAM Wizards will give you all sorts of design for manufacturing hints to help you make your jobs run faster. Last thing I want to point out is it considered almost 1600 different combinations of variables. Now how often have you had a chance to look at that many variables in order to get a job done? G-Wizard is the market leader used by thousands of the world's best manufacturers and schools for feeds and speeds. Over 100,000 CNCers have used it to get better tool life, surface finish, and cycle times. There's a lot more to see in G-Wizard than I can show you in this quick tour. Now it's your turn. With G-Wizard's help, you've got this. Get yourself a free trial today and improve your feeds and speeds the fast and easy way. Here's the link if you want to get that free trial. Thanks very much.